Hello, welcome to a tutorial on how to manually backup your WordPress. Sometimes we may lose access to our WordPress uh, admin page. This is probably due to error during installations of a new plugin or upgrade. So there are times when we need to manually uh, backup and restore our WordPress via cPanel. So this image is how basically a WordPress works. This is a typical to a C panel, you know, basic web hosting setup. To do a backup, we need to use a file manager to copy uh, and save all the files on hosting site. While we need to use a PHP admin to download or restore the database from uh, my SQL site. Okay, let's log into our hosting cPanel. So we will try to back up the files from the file manager site. First, we need to look for our website uh, location. This is usually located at public underscore HTML. Okay, we must identify the folder that we need to back up. So it's probably all of this files and folder. So I'll just do a backup on here. To do a backup, I'll select whichever files that I want to back up. I'll do a right click and I'll probably compress this into a new file, I can rename the file into backup. Click compress. Okay, after compressing the files, we can save the file into our computer. Next, we need to download our database. So this is a little bit trickier. All our database informations are stored in wp config.php. So we we'll right click on wp config.php. You can view our config. So over here, we, we will be able to see our db name, uh, db users, and db passwords. So this will be the database that we need to save and download for this website. Next, we will head back to our main cPanel. So we will look for our MyPHP admin. So this is located over here. It's taking a while to load. So we are able to see our database from my uh, PHP my admin. We'll click on the database that we need to back up. So as you can see, these are all the tables of our database. To do a database backup, we go to export. Okay. Uh, the method, we just leave it by default. The format is SQL, which is right. We click go. It will take a while to process all these informations into SQL. And now we are able to save our SQL file. So the backup process for the database and the files are complete. So these are the two core files from our backup. Uh, one zip folder, uh, this folder contains uh, all the files and folders, while the SQL contains all the database from our WordPress. To do a restore, we need to upload our backup zip into uh, our web hosting folder. 
we need to extract all the files in our zip into the folder as for the SQL we need to import uh, this SQL file into the database of the WordPress first we need to upload our zip file into uh, our web folder to do that we go to file manager we will browse to our web hosting folder so once we are there we click upload we select and we upload our backup file the restoration of file and folder is pretty straightforward we will just need to uh, extract our backup file into the same folder to do that we just right click on the zip file and click extract we will then select our folder to be extracted Okay, we are done restoring the files and folder. To do the database restoration, we need to head to uh, PHP My Admin. Okay, once we are there, we need to select the database to be restored. You can see here that our old data is still in the database. We can delete all this uh, table. Okay, the database is now empty. We can proceed with the restoration. We go to our database, go to import, and we will choose our SQL file to be restored. Click go. The process will take a while depending on how much data you have on your database. Okay, uh, once we have imported the file, we will be able to see the successful message. This means that the import of the SQL file is successful. Uh, to do a test, we go ahead to our website. We check if everything is in order. If you encountered any error message on your website, uh, you should go to your web hosting folder. Click on error underscore log. From here, you can troubleshoot your uh, error message. Usually, the WordPress error message will be written into this file. You should check uh, what error you're facing and troubleshoot based on the error. Uh, the, the common issue face uh, are database connection issues which in that case you can always reconfigure your database configurations at uh, wp-config just click on edit you can always set your new password and database uh, name over here this is all for the video. We hope that the video has been informative for you.